हेलो हेलो वी गेट टेस्ट या वी गेट टेस्ट या इश बिन गुड इश बिन गुड हेलो वी गेट टेस्ट या इश बिन गुड ओन टू ओन टू इश बिन गुड ओन टू इश बिन और गुड माय नाम इस अंकित हेलो इश हाय सर अंकित ओके सो वेलकम टू माय जर्मन लैंग्वेज क्लब and uh, today i will give you a lot of phrases in terms of goit etu like how you can move forward yourself to an etu level in german language so we'll give you a lot of phrases in uh, the the phrase we used in etu level okay so let's start with this and i'm sure let's set my camera first and i believe this whiteboard is very much audible to, visible to you sorry one second let me set the camera All right. So I believe this whiteboard is visible to you. Yeah. All right. So here today we have a German language phrases in terms of A2 level. Is that clear to you? In terms of A2 level. Now, for example, speak after me. Hello. Speak after me. Hello. Hello, hello means hello. I will repeat two times, and if you have to repeat after me, okay? Speak up, good morning. Speak up, good morning. Speak up, good morning. Good morning is good morning. Speak up, good morning. Speak up, good morning. Speak up, good morning. That is good day. Good afternoon. Good morning. We have. Good morning. We have. Good morning. Is that clear to you? The next we have is. Good morning. Because I'm giving you a phrases. I'm telling you a lot of phrases like we used. Okay. Good morning. Speak up. Good morning. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so these are simple phrases that leads to your starting level. That's for even level, but let's move forward to a A two pattern. Now speak after me. Hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good day. And good morning. Good evening. Okay. So now let's start the phrase. If I'm asking to you, because the moment you start your A two exam, the teacher may ask to you, "We get S D R. Speak up." We get S D R. Speak up, please. We get S D R. Speak up. We get S D R. Speak up. That is how is you. I will repeat two times, and you have to repeat after. We get S D R. That is how are you? How are you? Then you can say like this. I am good. You can say like this. Me get S good. Speak up. Me get S good. So you have to repeat after me. Me get S good. Mia get is good. Mia get is good as I am fine. Is that clear to you? So speak after me. We get is dear. Yeah. Mia get is good. If you're saying I am not so good, if you're saying for example, I am not so good. So you can say like this. Me get is speak up. Mia get is. Mia get is okay. She liked. Speak up. Schlecht. Speak up. If you're saying, I am not so good. Okay. If you're saying, I am not so good. Okay. You can say like this. Mia get is schlecht. Okay. So speak after me. I am not so good. So these are the phrases. For example, you enter in your exam. Okay. From asking. We get is dear. Yeah. You can say me get is good. You can say like this me get is select. Okay. So repeat after me. Repeat it, please. Me get is select. Is it clear to you? Is it clear to you? Yeah. Okay. Now, for example, let's move to a different next pattern. If you're saying, I understand you well. I understand you well. Ish. First day. This is my verb. First day is my verb basically. So ish first day. 
okay they got because you have to have your phrases in place first okay if, if you're saying i i understand you well i understand you well that is it means i understand you well if i'm saying i understand you well so you can say like this ich verstehe verstehe basically we have verb first in first in is a full verb is to understand because i understand that is ich verstehe dich gut is it clear to you if you're saying i do not understand you i do not understand you if you're saying i do not understand you for example you're saying i do not understand you then you can say like this ich verstehe dich nicht is it clear to you ich verstehe dich nicht not so speed after me ich verstehe dich nicht is it clear to you now speak after me we get is the ah how are you me get is good i am fine me get is strict I am not so good. Ich verstehe dich gut. Speak after me. Ich verstehe dich gut. That is, I understand you well. I do not understand you. Ich verstehe dich nicht. Is that clear to you? Okay. If you're saying, <clears throat> I am hungry, for example, because these are the phrases that you have to understand. Okay. I am hungry. For example, you are saying, I am hungry. So we have to use a bin verb. Is it clear to you? That is, ich habe hunger. Speak up. Ich habe hunger. Is it clear to you? If you're saying, I am hungry, speak after me. I am hungry. Okay. I am hungry. Sorry, if that is hungary. Uh, because sometimes when we, when we mingle with the foreign language, we have something like a... Uh, the back portion back foot we take in english language so i'm hungry that is ich habe hunger ich habe hunger is it clear to you if you're saying i am thirsty for example if you will say i am thirsty if you will say i am thirsty so what you will say ich habe durst Ich habe. We have to have in verb. Is it clear to you? Durst. So these type of phrases you have to understand. Ich habe Durst. Ich habe Durst. Ich habe Hunger. Ich fährst in Dick nicht. Ich fährst in Dick gut. We get is dear. Mir get is good. Mir get is schlecht. Is that clear to you? May I rub this? Pen down please because these phrases will help you out. Is that clear to you? Yes. I'm going to rub this now and we'll move forward to a next phrase. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's start with a next phrase. Okay. So, we have a next phrase. Uh, for example, if I say to you, I must go to toilet. For example, I must. Okay. For example, if I'm saying, I must go to toilet these are simple phrases okay so musen is my verb to ich muss is it clear to you is it clear to you i must ich muss zu toilet zu so if i'm ask if i'm saying i must go to toilet Okay, that is, ich muss, I must, okay, ich muss zu toilet, is it clear to you? I must go to toilet, so that is, ich muss zu toilet, ich muss zu toilet, is it clear to you? Yeah, if you're saying, I am tired, I am 
tired is it clear to you like i am tired so you can say like this ich bin müde ich bin müde speak ich bin müde speak up ich bin müde speak up ich bin müde i am tired ich bin müde speak up ich bin müde if you're saying i need a break sometimes you're tired with your work and you say the phrase now i need a break i need a break because you you're using the term like i need a break ich brauch so basically brauch is my verb ich brauch speak up ich brauch okay ich brauch eine pause speak up i need a break ich brauch eine pause so whenever you're saying like i must go to toilet ich muss ich muss so okay uh to let i'm tired ich bin müde okay i need to break ich brauch ein pause so now repeat after me i must go to toilet so repeat it please ich muss zu toilet ich bin müde i'm tired ich brauch ein pause if you say nice to see you for example if you say hello nice to see you nice to see you so what you will say shundik speak shundik now here see is a verb which is zen is to see then zu zen zu zen this is my verb to see so what you will say you will say shundik zu zen is it clear to you if i'm saying nice to meet you speak up shundik zu zen is it clear to you that is nice to meet you is it clear to you now i am ankit ish hi so ankit Ish hi so, Ankit. I am Lisa. Ish hi so, Lisa. It means my name is Lisa. Can you help me? If you're saying the, if you if you say, can you help me? Can you help me? If you say like this, can you help me? So what you will say? Can't you me a help? Speak up. Can't do can't. We already have verb, done the verb that I explained to you. Can't you? Can you help me? Can't you me a help? Speak up. Me a help? If you say, can you help me? Speak up. Can't you me a help? Can't you me a help? Is your can you help me? Okay. Can you please write that down? If you're saying, can you please write that down? Can you please? Can you please? Can you please write that down? Can you please write that down? We use the phrase a lot of times. Can you please write that down? So what you will say? Can you please? Okay, that Kanan Z does. Bitch. Z. Does be to is to please. Okay, can and see does be to of schreiben speak up of schreiben. This is my verb. Speak up of schreiben speak up of schreiben. If I'm saying, can you please write that down? So what you will say? Can and see does be to of Schreiben? Speak up of Schreiben. So this is basically your, if you're saying, can you please write that down? Can and see does be to of Schreiben. I must go to a toilet. Speak up. I will not speak up. You have to speak. Ich muss es tun. Okay, that is. <clears throat> I must I must go to the toilet. So that is too late. Ich bin müde. Ich brauche eine Pause. Schon dich zu sehen. Get ich heiße. Okay, your name. Can you help me? Can you me helfen? Can you please write it down? Can you see das bitte aufschreiben? So repeat after me. Now tell me. Hallo, guten Morgen, guten Abend, guten Nacht. That is good. Good night. Wie geht es dir? How are you? Mir geht es gut. Mir geht es schlecht. Speak up. Mir geht es schlecht. Ich verstehe dich gut. Ich verstehe dich nicht. 
ich habe Hunger, ich habe Durst, ich muss zur Lad, ich bin Mutter, ich brauche äh, eine Pause. Schon dich zu sehen, ich habe Lisa, ich habe Anket, ich habe anything. Wie heißt du? What is your name? Speak up. Wie heißt du? Speak up. We heißt du? Speak up. We? Okay, we have we heißt du? Speak after me. We heißt du? We heißt du is what is your name? So here we have a lot of phrases. If you're saying, can you please help me? So what do you say? Can you me a help? Can you please write it down, please? Can you see das beat of schreiben? Is that clear to you? Right? Made of this? So please pen down all these phrases, okay? Because this will help you out in order to move yourself in the German language. And I'm sure guys, once we'll watch this video, it will definitely help you out because I'm making this video all because of the guys who are enrolling themselves. They will enroll themselves when the exam would be happen for the goit even in H2. Is it clear to you? Okay. So like the next phrase is we have, you say like this, I would like to buy. Maybe you will say like this. I would like to buy. I would like to buy. Something like in order. I would like to buy something like in order. Okay, I would like. So here we have a verb like. Okay, so what you will say? Ich würde gerne. Ich würde gerne. Is it? I would like. Okay, ich würde gerne eine coffin anything i would like to buy i know uh, anything coffin is to buy basically coffin so we have verb coffin speak up coffin coffin is to buy and speak up best in best in is your best in best in is your to buy an order something is it clear to you yeah so for example, if you're saying I would like to buy uh, anything, so what you will say I would like to buy a uh, anything. So what you will say ich würde gerne speak up ich würde gerne einen kaufen and anything like this. Okay, einen einen is it clear to you? Yeah. So for example, if you're saying I would like to order a bun, if you will say. Okay, one sec, please. I think, let me change my marker. One second, please. Okay. So, meanwhile, you can say like this. Ich würde gerne eine. That is coffin, einen. Is it clear to you? Yeah? All right. So, let's start with the next phrase. One second over here. All right. So, one second, please. All right, so let's start with this. For example, if you're saying, I would like to order a bun. If you will say, I would like to order a bun. For example, you're in restaurant. And you will say, I would like to order a bun. So, ich würde you again speak up? Ich würde you gerne. Ich würde gerne. I would like to order a bun. Eine Brückchen. Brückchen. Basically Brückchen. Okay. So that is Brückchen. Brückchen is your basically your bun. Okay. So this is your bun. Okay, so speak up. Ich würde gerne a. Uh. Here we have a uh also a uh bun. So a uh we have eine. A uh. because in my article a uh, eine. Is it clear to you? So ich würde gerne eine. Okay, Brücken bestin. Order. Bestinnen. Is that clear to you? So I can repeat one more time. If you will say, I would like to order a bun. I would. So here I am just trying to explain you like, I would like to. So speak up. Ish. 
we would do gene eine oh here we have eine okay rutgen that is my bun rutgen okay and bestellen order is that clear to you if you will say for example you will say uh, can you tell me where i can find where of this is would again i would like okay for example if you will say uh, can you tell me what where i can find like for example you because these are the phrase like if you want to you know search something and you will say can you tell me can you tell me where i can find where can you tell me where i can find can you cast you me mia that is cast you mia can you tell me cast you mia sagan is to say sagan wo ist das finde sagan is it clear to sagan is to say okay wo ist das finde Is does find it. So if I'm saying, can you tell me where I can find this? For example, where I can find? So speak up. Can't do me a sagan. Oh, is does find it. Speak up. Can't do me a sagan. Oh, is does find it. I like you. If I'm saying, I like you. I like ishmaag. Speak up. I like you. Ishmaag dik. Speak up. I like you. I like you. I like you is ishmaga dik. If I'm saying I love you. Ish liebe. Speak up. Ish liebe dik. Ish liebe dik. It means I love you. So these are the phrases. Okay. For example, you say a uh, good luck. Good luck. You say good luck. Now we already have wrapped up. That is feel, feel clock. Is that clear to you? That is feel clock. Okay. Bless you. You bless someone. Bless you. Gazun died. Bless you. If you say bless you. Bless you. Speaker Gazun died. Speaker. Gazun died. So Gazun died is bless you. Gazun died. Okay. So if you say get well soon, if you will say get okay get well soon. If you will say get well soon, what you will say? Good. That is the phrase. Okay, good. Besserung. Besserung. If you will say, because these are phrases, if you will say, catch well soon, so what you will say? Good to Besserung. So you have to speak after me. Okay? Help. Helpful. Help. You will say help. Helpful. Speak up. Help. Helpful. Is that clear to you? If you will say, for example, uh, fire, foil. Speak up. Fire. Foil. Is that clear to you? For example, you will say stop. Halt. Halt. Stop. So these are the phrases like you can do practice with yourself. If you say careful, you will say careful, forsect, speak up, careful, speak up. 
so careful is forzigt forzigt is careful carefully forzigtig speak of forzigtig forzigtig is carefully is that clear to you for example you are saying one moment please if you will say okay let me rub this first may I rub this may I rub this okay if you will say one moment please One moment, please. So what you will say? Ein Augenblick bitte. One. Ein. Okay. Ein. One. Augenblick. Bitte. Is that clear to you? If I'm saying one moment, please. Ein Augenblick bitte. Is that clear to you? Yeah. So these type of practice these are phrases will help you in order to move yourself in the goit even exams goit a to exam because you will understand the language then what have you done today for example if you're saying what have you done today what have you done today if you will say what have you done today? Was hast du heute gemacht? Speak up. Was hast du? Speak up, please. Wa. Speak up. Was hast du? Okay. What have you done today? Was hast du heute? Heute. Today. Heute. Then we have done. The past verb is gemacht. We have a GE form with the password we already have done. Gemacht. So if, if I'm saying, what have you done today? So what you will say? Was has to heute gemacht? Is that clear to you? If you say, I would like to meet up with you. I would like to. We have done each word again. I would like to meet up with you. I would like to I would like to meet up with you. So you you tell me now ich would a mich gerne. Ich would you gerne. Is it clear to you? I would like to meet up with you. Gerne. Mit dir treffen. Wait, mit. Mit. Wait. Okay, so here we have ish. Would you meet again a meet here? Triffin. That is to beat. Full verb. Triffin. Okay. I hope these things, these phrases will clear to you if I'm saying I would like to meet up with you it would make and meet dear Friffin will you give me your phone number we can see a lot of things will you give me your phone number will you give me your phone number so how we speak this type in German language phone number will you give me your phone number is that clear to you? So what I will say. Will you give me your phone number? Gibbs. We have a verb given. Okay. Will you give me your phone number? Gibbs to me a diner. Handy numer. Is that clear to you? Gibbs to me a. Speak up. Gibbs to me a. Okay. Gibbs to me a diner. Speak up. Diner. Okay. So here we have Gibbs to me a diner. Handy numer. So if I'm saying, will you give me your phone number? Gives you me a dine handy number. Is that clear to you? Is that clear? So for example, you say, where do you come from? 
because when you enroll yourself in the exams or maybe the interview so this is very common where do you come from where do you come from if you're saying where do you come from okay so it's very simple phrase where do you come from who comes to here speak up who comes to here let me write down who comes to here comes to. is it clear to you comma is a verb okay who comes to here so where do you come from if you're saying where do you come sorry where do you uh, live where do you live so here we have who wants to speak up who wants to if you say where do you live where if you will say where do you live where do you live so what you will say who wants to who wants to that is where do you live is that clear to you okay so made up this so speak up what have you done today who has okay what has you waited to mark to i would like to meet up with you is would you meet gonna meet dear trippin will you give me your phone number give us to me a dine hundred numa where do you come from who comes who comes to here where do you live who wants to is it clear to you yeah so these are the phrases guys the moment you enroll yourself because this is see it's very simple phrases like what is the phone number okay where do you come from uh i need a break now one moment please so how you can go for these phrases will help you to take a good grip in the german language so one we have is for example what job do you have what job what job do you have for example what job do you have what job do you have what job do you have so here we have was marks to briefluck is it clear to briefluck sorry pardon okay so here we have was marks to briefluck is it clear to you so what job do you have speak up was okay marks Pen down, please. Was marked to briefly. So this is basically, if I'm saying, what job do you have? Speak. What job do you have? Was marked to briefly. Speak. Was marked to briefly. Was marked to briefly. Speak after me. Was marked to briefly. Was marked to briefly. Is it clear to you? If you're saying, what are your dreams? See, we use a lot of things. What are your dreams? What are your dreams? Like what dreams you have? What are your dreams? What you will say? What are your dreams? Okay. So here we have was in diner. What are you was in diner trauma? Speak up. Was in. Okay. Was in diner trauma. Speak up, please. so here we have like what dreams you have what dreams you have so that is was in diner trauma is that clear to you okay so if you say uh, what are your hobbies see this are these what these are the very very important phrase what are your hobbies like this this video will help you guys this session will help you to make your good grip like what are you have hobbies very simple was has two four hobbies speak up was has two four hobbies speak up was has speak up what are your hobbies okay was has two four hobbies If I'm saying, what are your hobbies? Speak up. What has you for hobbies? Speak up. What has you for hobbies? Is it clear to you? Then repeat after me. If I'm saying, I can cook well. I can cook well. You can speak like anything in German language. I can cook well. So speak up. Ich kann gut kochen. Ich kann gut 
cocoon. This is my verb to cook. Cocoon is to cook. So now speak after me. If I'm saying, what job do you have? So you have to repeat this. Was Max to briefly cook? What are your dreams? So speak up. Was in dying. Was in dying trauma. Okay. If I'm saying, uh, what are your hobbies? Was asked you for hobbies. I can good. I can cook well. And you can say like this. Uh, it's kind good cocoon. Do you feel okay? If you sing, do you feel okay? Do you feel okay? If you will say, do you feel okay? So what you will say? Fulst. That is my fulst. That is to my feel is a verb. Fulst to dick good. Speak up. Write down. Write down, please. Fulst to dick good. If you're saying, do you feel okay? Speak up. Full to dig good to. Full to dig good to. Speak up. Full to dig good to. Full to dig good to. That is, do you feel okay? I would like to have a shower. If you're saying, I would like. Now you tell me, I would like. We already have wrapped a lot of time. I would like to have a shower. Like to have, okay, a shower. If you will say, I would like to have a shower. So you tell me, Ishwara Gyana, exactly. Ishwara Gyana. Ishwara Gyana. If you're saying, I would like to have a shower. Ishwara Gyana. Then we have a verb, shower, dushin. It's a verb, dushin. Is my verb full verb to take a shower? Okay, so if you have a uh, like, I would like to have a shower, what do you say? It should be a tuition. Danke, thank you. Peter, please. We have Danke, speak up. Danke, thank you. Speak up. B2, please. Speak up. Danke, B2, thank you. No problem. If you say no problem, keine. If you will say, no problem. Speak up. No kind of problem. Kind of problem. Kind of problem is no problem. Speak up. Kind of problem. Speak up. Kind of problem. I cannot be bothered anymore. See, easy German. Where I can write this? I uh, I can write over here. Okay. Is it visible, right? I cannot. I cannot be bothered anymore. I cannot be bothered anymore. For example, you will say, I cannot be bothered anymore. So what you will say, I cannot be. Ich habe kein. Speak up. This is my good phrase. Ich habe kein. Is that clear? Ich habe kein Lust mehr. Lust mehr. If you will say, I cannot be bothered anymore. So what you will say? Ich habe kein Lust mehr. So this is the phrase. If you will say, no, I cannot be bothered anymore. Speak up. Ich habe kein Lust mehr. Speak up. So I will repeat two times and you have to repeat after me. Ich habe kein Lust mehr. Ich habe kein Lust mehr. Is it clear to you? I cannot be bothered anymore so what you have to do is you have to pen down all the phrases and you can listen my rec recording so speak up hello good morning good in talk good in our one good enough we get a see I'm here is good me get a slicked okay each first day dig good each first day dick necked each harbor hunger each harbor dust so these type of phrases will help you guys I'm sure okay so guys what you can do is uh you have to watch this video okay because see if you really want to have a good level in German what you have to do is again uh, listen all the phrases listen all the the you know sound what I'm telling to you uh, like if I'm saying ich mag ich würde gerne so I would like to have I would like to okay so listen pen down then again rewind and then you have to close your notepad and just listen like if you are understanding, it's for your stay. It's to understand. I understand. 
okay call finish to buy so repeat all the phrases pend on all the phrases then uh, just close your notebook then again repeat the video and again watch it so that you will come to know like the things i'm giving to you is it understandable or not and if you have any doubt you can ask to me so this is the lesson one we have started for goit uh, what i would say uh, echo exam and definitely i will come back with my next video uh, with a lot of phrases in the conversation okay so i hope it will help you out so till the time take care and bye bye okay take care